Vijay. So I'm handling this psychology as an optional. So now what we will do is we will we will see a, a small demo on so what is the subject, what is the nature of the subject, so how the subject will be, so what the subject is going to deal and whether it will be suitable for you. So most of the time the subject is a very general subject which can be suitable for anyone who have a, a little interest on the subject. So that is what I am going to give you for a short period of time and then we will have a question and answer session, whatever the doubts you have, see that will be better. So rather than having a one-way communication for more than one or two hours of time, so let me give a crisp uh, information on, so about the psychology and uh, we will have uh, uh, all the even online students, we have more than 20 students from online, so students also can, you know, you can post it, so I will just give a clarification. See now, psychology, so before we get into what is the subject, what is the nature of the subject, I want to tell one important thing about psychology because this is a, a one many students have this whether can I take psychology so I come from because most of the students says that sir I come from engineering background I come from arts background I'm an English literature I'm BCom so I'm a BSc uh, I am an engineering background so whether can I take psychology or whether the psychology, if before I want to choose a psychology, whether is there is any background is needed, whether prior knowledge is needed. See, first and foremost thing, keep in mind, there is no need for any background for psychology. Okay, so no background is needed. For example, today, if you want to pursue a MA or MSc psychology in any open university, there is no need for any specific graduation the qualification is any graduate from recognized university across India, you, any universities, open universities or any university, if you go, if you want to pursue a BA, MA or MSc psychology, I'm talking not about BA, MA or MSc psychology, so they will say graduation in any, graduation in any discipline. So that means if you come to the academic side itself, they don't expect any prior educational experiences for studying psychology. So today, the one best example is, this year you know, the Tamil Nadu topper, rank 41 is Bhuvanesh Ram. So he is my student, classroom program as well as tertiary student. He is a BSc Physics. He took Psychology out of interest. And we have another student, uh, Sivaranjini. Her rank is little, uh, little, okay, little away from it, but she got IPS this year. She is also classroom program. Two student from our academy. So her uh, background is something BSc. And we have another student, some test series student. So we have test series student as well as classroom program student. If you see that, one is from BA English Literature, Subham. And another student is from engineering background. So I will say that there is no need for any background. So first thing, if you have a doubt, I come from BA, I come from BSc, I have a BA English Literature, I have a, because, because Subham is a BA English Literature, but took psychology and cleared. So we had students BCom, who took psychology and cleared into service. So there is no need for any background for psychology. So if you have something in your mind, if there is something bringing your mind or pricking your mind that, so I come from this background, is it possible for me to take psychology? Yes, 100% it is possible. Because psychology, it is a social science. Please understand, even though it is a science, but it is more of a social science. It is not a medical science because many people after seeing the syllabus sometimes, after hearing the name psychology, they think that it is something related to medical. Yes, we have, there is something called clinical psychology, which is a, which is somewhat a medical, but we are not going to deal much into it. What we are going to deal is more of a social sciences. So that is the first and foremost thing I want to tell you. So no prior background is needed, no prior education background, whether you come from BA, BSc, engineering, mass medical sciences or dental sciences or any sciences, so you can comfortably take psychology as an optional. Because if you get into the subject, first to two session, you will come to know. The subject is not a very tough, uh, the subject is very easy to understand. So anyone can do. So this is the first thing I want to tell. So now, what we are going to do in psychology? So what is the subject nature? So I want to start with this. We are going to study behaviors. So you see the picture, the right side picture. So who is he? Uh, he's a Usain Bolt and you can see the next one the Nazi Germany the Hitler then the third picture a boy is fearing for injection and then you can see uh, the picture Gandhi 
so then you can see a terrorist and you can see two boys are fighting bullying one boy is bullying the other boy see now what is the common thing behavior am i right you take uh, nazi behavior the hitler behaviors it was so rude aggressive behavior how about the behavior of uh, gandhi so non violence you can see he is a big leader am i right see it is we we judge them only based on their behavior parunga na behavior vachi thana nam judge pandrom now you take usain bolt so you can see that he has something called motivation achievement motivation see all the way you are coming and sitting here because of what you want to get into civil service something motives there you know motive irukku because of the reason only you are first coming for the civil service now all the way you are coming and sitting in you know we can find some more than 25 students are coming and sitting in psychology it is something you are interested in it some motive is there so that's how you can see that it's a fear factor or bullying factor anything terrorist behavior now you take a terrorist whether do you think that he is anti social whether he is born anti social no he is a normal person any terrorist is a normal person most of the time they may come from a deprived section but what they do is they recruit the terrorist organization recruit two years of training just they give a two years of training by using psychological principle they make them as a terrorist so you can see that they have a complete prejudice over a country for example a pakistani terrorist when they see india they see see india as a enemy and they are you know go do such a crime you know 2000 uh, some back uh, some years back ajmal kasab have you heard about it in uh, mumbai he went and directly fired the pakistani terrorist you can see that he killed all the people in the airport and uh, sorry in the railway station other thing and you can see that they are ready to kill many number of people they are ready to even sacrifice their life for the terrorist organization so to that extent you can change the behavior so that's how the behavior can be like this 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 see ultimately in psychology what we are going to study is the behaviors the various types of behaviors so how the behaviors come so for that we need to go systematically we cannot just like that study like that we have to go systematically yes if you take a nazi he has aggressiveness so he has a motive towards his country national character so like that certain set of behavior is dominating here achievement motivation am i right achievement okay so the same way you know prestige pride so that is connected with him so that is how we are going to study psychology that is we are going to study about the various behaviors so what i am going to get it from psychology so psychology na padichana suppose see if you come study psychology just like a, some academic na no you study understand the subject apply the subject go come with me along with me and understand the subject definitely you can apply the psychology psychology is more of application now so nama life la real time la what is happening that is what so ultimately when you study psychology you can understand about yourself so what type of a person you are so why you are behaving you are getting some time emotional you are getting a stress what is the reason for it and you also you can see others your friends your parents your father mother brother why they are behaving that way that is what we can get so after studying psychology tentatively you can get a answer okay why some people are shy one why some people are talkative we call something some are introverted some are extroverted am i right introverted they don't talk much much to others but extroverted they keep on talking with others so why some people are shy why some people are talkative that we can get an answer introversion extroversion and and sometime if someone says something about you something bad about you some people will think about obsess it for a long time so what is that personality why it happened to you but whereas see some people you know some people even you talk anything bad about them they will feel that come on move on move on my life i don't bother about it but whereas some people are very sensitive so nama locala we call it as sensitive but psychologically we have a certain approach so why people some people are very sensitive and some people obsess it for a long period of time whereas why some people are very free they don't get stressed at all in their lifetime so that is for that we can get an answer the third one okay coming to our education we have education psychology so even in your case why people cannot sit and study for a long time so it is with respect to our civil service see some people we can see that they can sit and study for 7 hours 8 hours 10 hours 12 hours also one year they will study they will get into the service they will go off but there are some people okay there are some people of uh, even in in between us uh, within us so they will sit for 2 hours 1 hour but they cannot sit for it. then they will say then they will wander again come back sit for 1 hour so what is the reason so whether it's a motivation is a reason so whether uh, any other emotion is a reason 
whether distraction is a reason. So we can get an answer why some people are, especially with respect to our civil service. And even you study a lot, sometimes you cannot, you cannot remember it. So in a common, this is a common problem. Most of the civil service people, most of the civil service aspirants say that forgetting. So we, we are going to study about one chapter called memory. So in that we'll understand what is that forgetting, why that forgetting happened. So you know that whatever we study, whatever we learn, in that 60% of the information will be lost within nine hours of time. Within nine hours of time, whatever you study, in that 60% of the information is lost. So what you can hold is only 30 to 35% of the information. That is what you can hold. So that is the capacity we have. Uh, that is our cognitive capacity, normally cognitive is mental power. That is the capacity we have. So we are going to study about what is forgetting, what is memory, how our memory works, how to enrich our memory. So why some people have a memory related problem? What is the reason for forgetting? If I don't want to forget, if I want to retain maximum information, what should I study? What, how should I study? How should I rehearse? So that we are going to understand. And then come to the another extreme form. Now social psychology, there is a sub subject called social psychology. You know that honor killing, Gauru Kolai, honor killing. So you can see that the parents, the father and mother would have raised their child, girl child up to 21 years with a lot of affection. But the girl would have married a, any other person from other caste because of that reason, they are ready to even kill their girl. Then you know, daughter, they have killed their daughter. Why? See, what makes them to do that? See, it's very difficult to kill our own son or kill our own daughter, am I right? To kill our own father or mother. But for the part, just for the name of caste, for the name of caste or tribe or religion or whatever it may be, they're even ready to kill their own daughters. They're ready to kill their own uh, son. So what makes them to do that? So what psychological process is involved in it? So what is making that? So we will try to understand that. And then you can see there is a Nirbhaya case, definitely Delhi rape case. Definitely everyone know it. Uh, you know what the what the crime they have done. Even West Bengal Lakodaipo, recently the doctor. See how they are able to do this crime. See normally, is it possible for us to do this crime? Even when we hear this crime, we feel very agitated. Some people will feel very sad. Some people will get angry. But they are able to do that crime on that women. Why? So they sexually abuse the women. So in a Nirbhaya case, Delhi rape case, you can see that the particular girl, the particular girl was you know raped by and you know a lot of atrocity was done on the girl. See, do you think that it is just for a sexual pleasure they did the rape? They do this activity. No, sexual pressure, no, they could have gone to prostitute or something. No, it is something aggression on the women. Am I right? It is something they don't like the women. That is the reason they do the such a harm. In West Bengal, what has happened in uh, even that. So, it is something antisocial, psychopathy. So, that extreme also we are going to see. So, why that such an extreme is happening? And uh, you can see the other thing. Okay, you take advertisements. Today, marketing. Marketing heavily uses psychology. So, for all the advertisements, they use attractive models. So what is the reason? It's a classical conditioning in our concept. So what is the reason that all the attractive models are used for the advertisement? So like this, you can see, we can try to get an answer from the psychology for all these questions and whatever happening around us, whatever happening around us, we will be able to understand about ourselves, about others, and even you take Russia. Now Russia-Ukraine war. Did you see that Russia-Ukraine war, it is you know that it's prolonging for more than one year, two year. So what makes Russia to do that? Why they have to spend the money? Even Israel and Palestine. What makes them to do that? See, this, if you see from the political point of view, you're going to get less answer. But when you see from psychological point of view only, you'll get the maximum answer. Because something is, uh, if you take Russia, put in mind. What is running in the Putin's mind? Other than Nikki now. I'm right. Once thinking that today, everything is happening. Am I right? It is only your thinking you are coming and sitting here. It is the thinking of the Putin makes the Russia and Ukraine war. It is the thinking of the Israeli leaders and the Palestinian leader. You can see such a conflict is happening. How many women got raped? How many children got killed? You see that more world war, most of the world war, in a root cause on the parga. Someone's thinking. I don't know root cause. So Russia, you take Americans have taken war on Iran. Sorry, not Iran, on Afghanistan. American have taken a war on Vietnam. American have taken a war. What made them? Ultimately, the president, the thinking of five or six people took this. So ultimately, we can get an answer. If you want to get the root cause, root answer, we can get it only from the psychology. So psychology generally will try to give you such type of an answer. Tentatively, it will give you. I'm not telling that it's going to give a perfect answer, but it will be giving you 
some tentative answer what is happening around us why we are behaving in that way why others are behaving in that way this is what so what is the definition of psychology what we are going to study so psychology they say that we are going to study about behavior and mental process see here we have two terms one is behavior human behavior i mean it's overt behavior so overt behavior the behavior of our, we can see the gossiping behavior and other behaviors so overt behavior na this and all what you can see what you can observe the putin's behavior am i right the russia putin's behavior you can see the israel palestinian behavior okay war behavior so these are all overt actions and reactions are called the overt behavior the second part is mental process you see the second terms the second term is mental process mental process as we should also get into inner mind so here that is something we call as cognitive thoughts feelings apart from that you can see love sex anger depression memories so these are all something happening inside our mind so we are going to study external behavior why a person is behaved in such a way or in a particular way second is we are also going to get into the internal mental process what is actually happening inside the mind this is what we are going to study psychology in a systematic in a academic manner okay now how we are going to study so of course what we are going to study abdin pathina i can put the entire psychology into some four uh, uh, i can say four steps first when you see any behavior we try to describe that behavior what type of behavior within our psychological framework chuma open ah illa we have a systematic psychological framework it is academic subject it is also subject like sociology anthropology so academically we are going to see any behavior we come across so it can be any behavior a boy is bullying a girl a boy is teasing a another girl so whatever the putin's behavior or any behavior first we will try to tell what is the type of behavior second is we will explain the reason for the behavior why the particular person behave in that way so tentatively we will tell the reason for the behavior third one predict how they will react in the future see once i understand what is the type of person you are why what is the reason for your behavior then i can predict how you will behave in the future ivan eppadi patta see nam kama kalukila pesuvom ivan eppadi patta van theriyada so how this person will behave in the future how this person is going to react in the future that we are going to see that's the third one the fourth one is change the behavior see ultimately what is the purpose of studying psychology is understanding the behavior predicting how the person is going to behave in the future but at the same time we need to change the behavior change the behavior main mental process so that is the intervention the major role of a psychologist we have to intervene so for that either through the education through the training or through the you know therapy we do some sort of a intervention how to change the behavior so this is what we are going to study so now okay is there is any way method we are going to study the psychology see we are not going to study openly we have some systematic methods what is the systematic method is we have certain schools of thought the entire psychology we are going to see certain four to five schools of thought so that schools of thought i will just tell you what are the schools of thought when you come to the class the details and all we will get into it the first school of thought it is something called psychodynamic school of thought so they Uh, it is propounded by freud and their followers they strongly believe there is something called unconscious mind you know conscious subconscious in kelu putrupinga there is a some now right now you are all in the unconscious but something is running inside the mind that is called the unconscious so they strongly believe that most of the behavior is determined by the unconscious so that is how this school of thought is one school of thought is called psychodynamic school of thought we will study psychology through psychodynamism that perspective the second type of perspective it is behaviorism so which is propounded by watson and skinner so they say that all external behavior that is environment influences our behavior see it is only you are coming and sitting here it is only because of some environmental pressure something is pulling you so it is the environment decides your behavior environment decides your mental process that is what the behaviorism that's the second perspective the third perspective it is cognitive perspective cognitive means internal mental process how you process the information see when you see it you hear it the information goes inside it processes in the brain am i right that is something called cognition cognitive so they strongly believe that there is a set of internal mental processes going on that we are going to study anyway we are not going to study about brain 
பிரெயினை பத்திலாம் நம்ம படிக்க போறது இல்லை ஓகே the fourth one is humanistic so they strongly believe on individualism so humans have or freedom humans have the freedom humans have the personal growth that's what humanism so that is the one perspective but they have a very limited scope in psychology but they are also very important person but the first three are very very important apart from that socio uh, psychological perspective that is society is influencing social psychological perspective is not a new perspective it is also derived from the three perspective the top three the major perspectives and apart from that one more perspective we have biological medical perspective that we are not going to study much we will see some here and there because we are not actually in the psychology we are not even going to study about brain even in the syllabus the brain is not given so brain on the hippocampus the different parts of the brain also we are not going to study maybe in one or two chapters some one or two part like amygdala some part we will deal so we are not going to deal anything related to medical we are not going to deal anything related to biological we are going to see normally from the social aspect so i will say that the entire psychology we are going to see from the psychodynamic perspective from the behaviorist perspective from the cognitive perspective from the humanist perspective the top four perspectives are the important perspective so adla the top three perspectives the psychodynamism behaviorism uh, thing cognitive this are three important perspective if you know this perspectives i will say that the entire psychology you are good that's what இந்த பாஸ்பெக்ட் தான் படிக்க போறோம் ஸோ திஸ் வாட் த பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஸோ எனிவே வென் வி கேன் நவ் ஐ கேனாட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஆல் திஸ் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் வென் யூ என்டர் டு த சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸோ ஹவு திஸ் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் கம்ஸ் பட் ஆல் த பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி சிம்பிள் ஸோ இட்ஸ் நாட் அ வெரி காம்ப்ளிகேட் கான்செப்ட் அண்ட் ஆல் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி சிம்பிள் கான்செப்ட் நவ் கமிங் டு த சிலபஸ் பிஃபோர் கெட்டிங் டு த சிலபஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டெல் யூ சர்டன் திங்ஸ் about psychology first thing please understand psychology from the upsc point of view it is a social science behavioral science so whether we have a pure sciences yes we are going to little deal about pure sciences but we will not much get into sciences if anthropology may sciences lambo matam genetics that and all we are not going to get into it even we are not going to get into brain parts also we are going to only see from the social science so it, the subject only you can equate with you cannot equate with the uh, uh, maths or physics chemistry anthropology you cannot equate with that you can equate the subject only with sociology so in that line like public administration that only you can equate so that is the first thing second is it has less biological basis so because biological part in because psychology has a biological part neuropsychology la irukku but in upsc syllabus psychology uh, biological part is not much given maybe in one or two chapter we will little deal so what is evolutionary theory so what is that genetics other light all we will deal but we will not get into the genetic dna and all we will not get into it so biological basis is very 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 less in our part maybe in the clinical psychology when we understand when we discuss about certain disorders that time we will talk about certain clinical disorders and other thing maybe that is one or two chapters only and as i already told you it does not need any specific background so whatever the graduation you are you can do it so only thing is you should have little interest over the subject avladha that is what and come with the confidence you can do it the third fourth one is it has immense application and scoring paper definitely it is a scoring paper so what i find in the last 10 15 years of my experience is average student when they study normal average they are able to get more than 270 to 280 marks so if they do good last year 290 to 300 they can get if you are really performing well up to 300 marks more than 300 also you can get so normally you study 270 to 280 which is very comfortable to get into service that mark you can get it but again you have to work hard when you work hard 290 300 320 is possible okay but if you ask me sir is it possible to get like a mathematics mark ah uh, no it's not that so no so disadvantage is in pathina you cannot equate with the mathematics because psychology you can study within 3 to 4 4 months la 4 to 5 months you can cover the entire subject 5 months comfortably you can cover but mathematics you have to study for 7 to 8 years 7 to 8 months even one year so you cannot compare with mathematics this subject but it is a scoring paper and it is completely application oriented it has a very immense application when we get into each and every chapter learning memory okay motivation personality we will see lot of applications so with psychology without application is no use at all so all the application i am going to give it so that's how it's a immense application then it is more of a practical so subject vandu konja practical oriented ah da irukum all the when you start it will not be a, of course theoretical based irukum theory based panni da practical so theoretical based will be there 
but if you get into each and every chapters if you get into each and everything definitely you will find a practical application somewhat you can easily connect it that is one thing you can find then you can see as i already told you you can easily connect with real time examples like individual so about you okay even about your personality about your motivation about your emotions you can easily connect it social life so what is happening in the society that also you can connect it in related to hr management because all the psychological concepts are used in hr human resource for work motivation you can see work motivation incentive system so how to increase the job performance ellame psychology da based on the psychology for hr based psychology marketing you all the marketing strategies marketing behavior even electoral behavior everything is comes under the psychology background so administration everywhere you can see organization administration everywhere psychology is used we have a separate subject called organization psychology organization behavior so it can be used but at the same time it is not a open subject you have to understand we are going to study through perspective as i told you schools of thought like psychodynamism cognitive okay evolutionary point of view and also from the humanistic and uh, behaviorism through certain school, school of thoughts certain perspective only we are going to study so subject is a very systematic subject okay you have to understand it's a very systematic subject it's not something openly you cannot give your own ideas and all there will be a theory the theory will tell how to approach a particular concept how to approach a particular behavior through that only you can study you can give your example but concept you cannot say concepts will be given from every chapter concepts will be given concept will be very easy to understand you understand the concept you apply your psychology that is how we are going to do it then the next one is okay it is also scientific scientific na it is not like experiments and all it we will also have some experiments case studies and all we will have but experiments la pathina or very simplistic idha irukum like case studies like experiments we will have so it's not a you know it's not a completely a very theoretical studies or go theoretical or go applications will be the maximum one then the third one is it does not deal with pseudo psychology i want to tell see today you can read many psychology related books open books of your interest so how to read unconscious mind you talk about hypnosis you talk about other thing see that and all we are not see we will study hypnosis we will see what is hypnosis what is dream what is sleep what is sleep cycle we are going to deal about it what is meditation am i right drug states that also we are going to study but we are not going to study the pseudo psychology in the quacks when the hypnosis conduct panuvanga that and all we are not going to study okay sometime because what happens you see people maybe out of interest they would have studied many psychology books outside adala we cannot bring it inside this is something a very systematic subject we are going to deal so then the next one is different how whether it can be useful in other gs paper first thing i will tell when you choose an optional you should not look for gs papers and all optional should be chosen as a separate subject because optional when it compare other subjects when you take a gs1 gs2 that paper can be corrected by any professor even history paper can be corrected by a physics professor but optional paper it is only connected by optional subject that is a psychology professor only will correct it a psychology lecturer only will correct it a teacher only correct it so in that case you have to be good in the subject you need to have a good hold on the subject it's not like a gs paper so that is the reason when you choose an optional it's not about psychology when you choose an optional it should be based on the interest so first thing interest whether you have a you know any supporting system so faculties and other thing so everything is available so that is how you have to look for but anyway one thing i will tell definitely it can be heavily used in gs4 gs4 la some topics are there which is directly connected with psychology and case studies and all approach on the most of the time psychology can be very very helpful comparatively with other people psychology can be very helpful even in the interview also it can be very helpful when you go to the interview definitely they will be more interested if you are coming from psychology background not immediately they will be more interested in putting some questions on psychological related application so that is a, that is a one thing we have so okay now coming to the syllabus we will have approximately some around 14 chapters 14 chapters in paper 1 14 chapters in paper 2 uh so here the first few chapters is about introduction about the various perspectives so we have one chapter called research methodology see that is when you want to conduct a research how you need to conduct a research that basic fundamentals we will see and then we will have one topic called development of human behavior this is what birth to death so when you born till we die what are all the various stages we undergo because right now you are in the adult stage i will say you are in the young adulthood but whereas we have adolescence 17 18 years 
whether their behavior and your behavior will be same but you will have maturity level definitely your maturity level will be more than them so what determines their thinking what determines your thinking so different stages nama life eight katta maatom when you come to 45 50 years they have a different age when they come to 60 70 they have a different age so age span life span that is something called in every life span how the behavior is developed that we will understand then we have a subject called sensation attention and perception so in this subject so how perception happens how we do attention how we sense the world how we do perception that we will see then the next chapter comes a learning learning chapter learning na it's not about reading a book everything is a learning now you are coming and sitting in the classroom that's a learning okay after that you go eat that's a learning every from morning you wake up what are all the activity you do everything comes from the learning from the environment because from the childhood you have been taught so how this learning process comes only through the three methodology the learning process come to us so how we learn the information from the world how we behave accordingly that is what we are going to see this is a one important chapter then come to the memory so i as i told you without opening the brain without getting into the brain we are going to see how our memory system is working this is a very wonderful subject so what is our memory so one for once upon a time we thought that memory system is one but today we have come to know that through the psychology we have come to know that memory is three part we have sensory memory we have short term memory we have long term memory so when you study something from the sensory memory it will go to short term memory from there it will process it will go to long term memory so we are going to study about memory system and how to improve the memory what are the problems happens in the memory and how i we do why we forget something what is the reason for the forgetting that and all we will try to see then comes the next chapter thinking and problem solving so basic thinking process we'll see so in this chapter some multiple chapters are there there is one thing called problem solving when you encounter a problem say definitely in your life you encounter many real time problems am i right life related not i'm not talking about mathematical problem real time problem how do we approach the problem how do we solve the problem for solving the problem what are the strategies we use then within the chapter we have decision making so how we make decisions and how in group people make decisions so what are the factors influence the decision making that we will see and also there is one another more topic called creativity you can see einstein many people da vinci there are many creative people here we will see how the creativity comes so what are the factors influence the creativity is it possible to boost the creativity so that and all we are going to see then next chapter comes the motivation and emotion so it is something intel sorry intelligence and okay a motivation and emotion so here we will see how motivation what is the motives what are the different types of motives we have what motivates us in our life what are the factors influencing the motivation so how do the motivation comes in our life all the motive so specifically we will deal about hunger motive sex motive okay achievement motive affiliation motive the different types of motives we will study then emotions how do we experience that emotion what are the different types of emotion we will experience why sometime we become more emotional and what is that emotional competence what is the emotional intelligence we will study and then there is a topic called intelligence and aptitude so this is about intelligence definitely iq so what is that intelligence why some people are more intelligent why some people are less intelligent okay what are the factors influences our intelligent suppose if i want to improve the intelligence how to improve how to measure the intelligence that we will study then comes a very important chapter i will say this is a crux chapter personality what type of a person you are so how this personality is developed from your childhood so what are the factors influencing your personality so from from psychodynamism they will have one view from the behaviorism they will have a one view from the humanism they will have a view so every views will tell how our personality is developed what type of a person how we emerge as a person and then comes attitudes basically you know values and interest what are the values we develop what are the interests we develop and how we develop attitudes so attitude in kelu patrupinga we will see that attitude in detail so this topic and all directly in paper 4 we have gs paper 4 and then language so how the language development happens and communication chapter so what are the various styles of communication how to improve communication what is body language body cues that we will see in this chapter then the last chapter is a contemporary in the chapter only we will see about various psychoactive drugs like opa opm so when goes how it changes the behavior sleep dream hypnosis meditation that and all comes under the contemporary see now this is the foundation of psychology okay it's very easy to understand each and every chapters so this is a foundation once you are good in the foundation the paper 2 is completely application adilirund apdi apply da 
so without paper 1 we cannot enter into paper 2 maybe one or two chapters we can enter but paper 2 pathina what we study here that directly comes sometime in some syllabus paper 1 paper 2 will be different so paper 1 they will deal differently paper 2 indian views differently but here we we cannot separate paper 1 and paper 2 when you get into each and every paper 2 we will see only the perspectives so for example paper 2 how we are going to apply so first path testing well being disorders therapy rehabilitation this is clinical part so this we are going to study about depression anxiety some psychological problems people face behavioral problems people face so how they come what type of therapy we can provide them how to cure it how to develop it how to train them and how to rehabilitate them this is a little clinical part we have but it's easy to understand the second part we have work psychology organization psychology how in organization behavior this is completely corporate so how the corporate works how we are going to apply it in the organization third is education how we are going to apply the psychology in education because what when we study about motivation how to motivate the students when we study about creativity how to improve the creativity of the students how to improve the memory of the students how to make the students see today our education system is very comparatively not good we cannot compare our education system with foreign education system so because in foreign and all americans and european they have been, they have put all the psychological concepts in their education system okay how to improve they have they are coming with programmed learning different types of learning styles we understand see basically we will understand what are the learning styles we have how people learn the information that all the psychological concepts we will do so this chapter is completely social see we have lot of deprived people socially deprived people am i right so what psychological process is influencing them okay what are there why the deficiency happens see they are not able to learn they are not able to grow in their they are not able to grow in their life okay they are they will be in the stagnation they will be in the poverty so what psychological factors influence them that is what we are going to study in this including gender women deprivation and other thing and you can see psychology this are all some miscellaneous how psychology can be applied in mass media see today you see you go to any social forum when you say it people will not see each other people will not see they, they will take the mobile they will only get into it now the media is influencing now media it is influencing a lot you can see how the social media like facebook twitter instagram is changing our behavior yeah it is greatly influencing behavior social media tv everything has influenced behavior i am right during the covid period and all we got lot of fear because of media da it is not because of the covid so media how it is going to influence how psychology is going to have influence on the environment and and also some miscellaneous like how psychology can be applied in military terrorism psychology this are all miscellaneous topics small small topics sports so what we study in paper 1 the perspectives and the concepts personality motivation emotion intelligence memory learning that we will try to bring it in the application okay so it is very uh, most of the time we will spend more than 4 4 and a half months time in uh, understanding the concepts but one month only we will study paper 2 one or one and a half months because you will not have much to talk about when you take a sports once you know what is sports okay fine so how we to change the behavior behavior of the sports so emotion for a sportsman what are the emotions have how to motivate the sportsman so what you study in paper 1 that you are going to bring it to the paper 2 so this is what the subject in general so that's what the paper 1 itself they call it as a foundations of psychology paper 2 is issues and application how you are going to apply it so which is a very interesting one to see in this okay this is about the general one and uh, coming to the book source book source the basic book source is ncert plus 1 plus 2 book that will cover more than 45 to 50% of your syllabus you just imagine 50% of your syllabus is covered in plus 1 plus 2 book plus 1 plus 2 book ke or 4 vaati padichitingale 45 to 50% of your syllabus is over na solradhu 10th plus 1 plus 2 book that itself will cover apart from that for paper 1 i am going to give a book for the entire paper 1 i am going to give a book apart from that class notes and handouts whatever we have some class notes or short notes i will dictate it which you can take it so that is more than sufficient for paper 1 and paper 2 class notes and we have one book called I, I, I will i will ask you to purchase one book called smarak swine that book alone you have to purchase it that one book is sufficient so motham pathina or two to three books da that you attend the class you read the book revise that that is take a notes revise it that is more than sufficient beyond that if you have any interest you want any reference book 
definitely during the class i will advise you but what i will suggest is if you do this books two to three time or standard up adina naal book irukum and the naal book alla padichitale getting 280 to 290 is very easy plus little apply konjam brain podnu brain potta apply pannu but i will tell you how to apply indralam for i will for every application i will give five four to five examples i will give you the same example you can go and write if you are able to think you think and write okay the subject is more of a static nature only then so timing wise see as of now we fixed on november 11th something so timing as of now we fixed on 5:30 to 8:15 okay 5:30 to 8 approximately so big days uh, we will have three days to five days you have to plan for five days i will get the consent if you, if everyone is okay with saturday sunday na konja additional class we can keep if you are okay with it abdina okay in that case we will have three days weekday class saturday sunday if it is okay but as per the schedule we are going to have we are going to have only five days five days class tha five days is a maximum class but maybe three days or something and every two weeks once sorry every uh, yeah two weeks fortnight we will have a test so test you have to write the test because studying is not important converting that into mark is important our ultimate objective here coming here to take a optional not to become a psychologist okay see your job is not to become a psychologist your job is to clear this exam vps exam adukku vandu or tool da psychology so what we study we understand come to the class understand the concepts make notes of it study make your own notes revise it apply it then convert that into a mark so when you don't write it all you say that you keep just attend the class you study no use ultimately we have to do so i will be telling you in the test discussion review how to convert that into mark how to write answers so it will be starting from the basic scratch okay and then i will make give you some assignments and thing so because we cannot teach everything in the class so certain things i want you to go and do because you should come out of your own you should evolve of your own so that we will do it and if there is any needy students if they are not able to write it they are not able to move forward that we will do a mentoring so this is what our program plan will be okay so i think i have given a, a brief about uh, for the 45 minutes i give a brief about the psychology subject and the optional so in a summary i will tell psychology can be taken by anyone but the only criteria what i need is whether you should have some minimum interest that's it and you should be ready to study rest other i will take care so notes and everything whether to make the concept understandable adala i will take care see if i give the psychology book if i ask you to study by yourself it is possible to study ungalave thaniya kuda padikka mudiyum that subject of that level da okay so attending the classes na nallave padikalam okay ultimately the purpose of coming to the class vandu edna please understand i am trying to reduce your time see when you take psychology book and study definitely you will understand no doubt at all because in this series la last this series la i had some 10 students or something all four students vandu it is own preparation da last year la five students cleared from psychology namma trip mattum all two students is our own classroom students three student test series students adule two test series students vandu self preparation appadi da irukanga so and the level irukku psychology subject so self preparation le pannalam but self preparation la pannum bodhu you will take more time see i'll take you can take the book you can study learning la edha pachu ungalku easy a puriyum you will understand no challenge at all in the subject but the thing is when you come to the class we will try to reduce your time and i will give you lot of example i will give from the upsc point of view question discussion that will make you to enrich that will make you to be you know more ready for the exam point of view adhu dhaan in class varadha main purpose okay so that is a summary i want to give it so now uh, so i will give the session to you any doubts clarification you have you ask me ma online la parunga konjam konjam eduthu vaanga inge eduthu vandrenga ah kelli see 99% it will match ya yeah, solrana if you write a, there is a question on learning chapter or there is a question on memory chapter explain short term memory and long term memory seriya idhula subjective e kedaidu book la irukradha eludhu 
whether you write that answer in delhi someone writes an answer in a harvard university harvard us la harvard university la if anyone is doing a phd if he writes an answer all the answer should be same yena you know, static subject na adha solra psychology open ala nee eludha mudiyadhu paakkuradhukku dhaan andha maari theriyum see when you see that only it will look like it but when you get into the chapter there is a systematic way irukkuradhu dhaan eludha mudiyadhu see that is all again i want to tell you this is a static it's not a dynamic suppose public administration political science la dynamic a irukum newspaper vachu eludhra maari irukum anga answer la variation varum inga answer la variation varave kudadhu here answer within the answer you cannot find any variation at all only variation what you can find is the example for learning i may give one example you may give one example for classical all our classical notion is a small concept okay i may give one example you may give one example okay but concept will not change concept is a fixed concept subject on the static now so whether i can use newspapers or current affair la na no you don't have any current affair current affair you can use it enga use pannala we have some topic called prejudice and discrimination prejudice and discrimination on the uh, how this uh, discrimination is happening so you can take some example from some current affair okay uh, now manipur issue kuki tribe methi tribe discrimination is happening prejudice is happening conflict is happening that example you can write avladha use panna mudiyum current affair but subject is a static subject illa subjective e kediyadhu please understand there is no subjective at all it is highly objective it's highly objective concrete how you are going to study sociology how you are going to study uh, you know subjects like uh, the political science or public administration the same way it is going to be current affair kediyadhu current affair we will not have much only static subject da book da book ah padinga eludunga avladha understand the subject apply the subject write it that's it okay duration of the course may go up to four and a half months time four to four and a half months time see when we take all the uh, four uh, when we take five days na four months la mudinjirum less than four months it will four months approximately you just keep in mind up to five months maximum five months Ma- i'm telling maximum five months okay uh, okay well, what is the duration okay fine uh second is based on uh, based on the understand and some key point can we can write the po- answer is it possible this way see yes uh it is possible the very important is subject la key point da very important with the key point you can elaborate and write it ultimately in the classroom what i am going to give is only the key point content oda key point crux kuduthuva adha chinna da notes a kuduthuva that is what you can write because ultimately in our paper 150 words 200 words 250 words 300 words avladha irukku you cannot write from the entire book so key points ultimately it will come yes it is possible to write it's very easy to write see subject whether it's possible to understand whether it is possible to write angirda 100% it is possible ipo one one da i want only one thing from you are you interested avladha subject ku konja interest irukanum appo da you can stick on to that subject sometimes some people take some subjects some x y subject they take it after one two months ka apra or interest irukad then there is no use you will not stick on to the subject when you are interested in the subject da you will stick on to the subject for four months five months anyway it is my job to take the subject interesting with a lot of application other thing adu on my part i will do it on my part i will tell you how upsc is asking type of question how we need to answer the question that and all slowly i will take you that and all you don't bother okay konja interest unda mattum podu that is the only thing i want okay how do i enroll in this thing actually i think uh, you, if you are studying gs or something you can go to the admission office you can directly enroll so if you are interested in psychology within this week you enroll that is what i will tell hmm? so that we want to know how much books we need to print and other thing okay then uh, any other doubts in the okay ah well, 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 well. okay then ah kelly paper la articles padikom learn see a psychological way direct what do you think those near start how relevant is this with what they are going through or ah see that is yes. when you when you see idu vandu one month la don't expect for three months psychology padikringa four months psychology padichitingna after that when you see the newspaper it will be very easy for you to understand ipo see when i see a manipur issue மணிப்பூர் இஷ்யூல நடந்துருக்கு உங்களுக்கு தெரியல மேத்தி ட்ரைப் அண்ட் குகி ட்ரைப் 
ஸோ அங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு சீரியஸ் அட்ராசிட்டிஸ் ஆப்பனிங் ஸோ இதுக்கு வந்து ரூட் காஸ் வந்து ப்ரெஜுடைஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷன் இது வந்து நம்ம வி வில் சி ப்ரெஜுடைஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷன் தட் இஸ் சம்திங் கால் ரியலிஸ்டிக் கான்ஃப்ளிக் தியரி காம்படிஷன் ஹைப்போதசஸ் இப்போ நடக்கிறதே காம்படிஷனுக்காக தான் ரிசோர்ஸ் காம்படிஷன் ஸோ இது வந்து என்னென்னா சைக்காலஜி பாயிண்ட்ஸ் மே நாட் பி தேர் இன் த பேப்பர் பட் வென் யூ ஸ்டடி த சப்ஜெக்ட் வென் யூ சி த நியூஸ் பேப்பர் இமிடியட்லி வில் கெட் இட் அது தானாக வந்துடும் ஓகே அண்ட் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் லாஸ்ட்லேயே வந்து இப்போ வென் ஐ டாக் வென் ஐ வென் ஐ டாக் அபவுட் ப்ரெஜுடைஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷன் ஐ நாட் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் ஒன்லி தீரி தீரி கான்செப்ட் சின்னதாக தான் இருக்கும் எல்லாமே உங்களுக்கு ஈஸியாக புரியுற மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் பட் ஐ வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் லாட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஸோ அல்டிமேட்லி எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் The example applications are very important. That is the reason you are coming to the class. Okay, that enabling function, enabling you to understand the concept and do it, that I will do it. That is, that is the reason you are coming here. Okay, that is the reason you are coming here. Okay, subject overlap with ethics, paper discussion. Definitely, you will see that. 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 and there are some topic like emotional intelligence attitude there are some chapters are directly in psychology so two three questions will be there case studies ku approach of the case study definitely psychology can be very helpful ena nama development of human behavior le kohlberg model reasoning we have on topic so how we do reasoning moral reasoning morality ethics how it comes to us that is also psychology da ena ethics le psychology irukku actually when the people study ethics when they do phd they study ethics in psychology so psychology is a part of it. psychology is something like a mother subject where it can be getting for sociology padichalum sociology la you study about caste but adukapra and the caste la var conflicts in sociology la padipinga but why that conflict comes psychology la padipinga like in a behavior thought anga da varum finally so ultimately psychology is going to give the answer for everything okay see online students you will not uh, see because we have been doing this for many uh, batches whether you are online or offline does not matter at all because two things will be there one is you can post your doubt periodically i will see the chat box and i will give the reply and second thing is we will also open the audio we can there you can directly put a question so we'll have the two option when we take a class so you can put your doubts and other thing apart from that i will share my mail id and other thing so see it's come it's last 5 years it's comfortably before from covid period online and offline we don't find any difference at all comfortability is going on and many people are very comfortable nowadays many nowadays the generations are very comfortable with online now so you will not have any issues at all because it will go very very i will take the subject very slowly in the initial phases and any doubts or clarification you can openly ask you know, I, i will give a doubt i will in between one hour of time five minutes i will stop and i will ask for any doubts and clarification that and all we will do it Uh, any doubts or clarifications ungalku edha doubts irukama ungalku so that's about the subject subject onnu ungalku onnu complicated ah irukadu subject undu romba basic ah thakku learning chapter first two chapters le ungalku first two chapter le ungalku therinjirum subject avula dhaan nradhu therinjirum concept la romba simple ah irukum enna na you have to study chuma adukaga vandu i will not tell it's easy paper appo la solla maten matha paper epdiyo adhe maari dhaan how you see sociology the same way how you see political science how you see anthropology same way enna anthropology la konja science irukum namakku science konja kammiya irukum avladha science romba kammiya romba ve kammiya irukum and the difference la irukum but you have to study so adukaga vande i will not tell it's easy paper la solla maten we have to sit and study or subject ku kudukra devotion or 4 or 5 months ku vande we have to devote a time for this subject okay online students you have any doubts or clarification இல்ல இருக்கும் பட் வந்து நேம்ஸ் மட்டும் கொஞ்சம் அதிகமா இருக்கும் அது நான் வந்து ஜென்ரலாக சி ரிசர்ச்சர்ஸ் நேம் வில் பி மோர் ஸோ தண்டர்லி வாட் ஐ வில் டெல் இஸ் ஓன்லி மேஜர் ரிசர்ச்சர்ஸ் நேம் யூ கேன் கீப் இன் மைண்ட் தட் இஸ் ஒன் ஓகே டெர்மினாலஜி எல்லாம் வந்து செல்ஃப் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் டெர்மினாலஜி தான் டெர்மினாலஜியில வந்து உங்களுக்கு பெரிய பெரிய காம்பிகேஷன்லாம் இருக்காது சி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வி யூஸ் அ கிளாசிக்கல் கண்டிஷனிங் அதில் பார்க்கும்போது பெருசாக தெரியுது கண்டிஷனிங் என்னது கண்டிஷனிங் யூ கிளாசிக்கல் அப்படின்னா உங்களுக்கே தெரியாமல் உங்களை கண்டிஷன் பண்ணுறது ஓகே சி நவ் இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் இஃப் ஐ டேக் திஸ் வாட்டர் பாட்டில் அண்ட் இஃப் ஐ ஷோ இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் ஃபார் மீ டு மேக் யூ டு ரன் அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ரூம் இதை நான் இந்த 
இப்படி இருக்கு இட் இஸ் தேர் திஸ் திஸ் வாட்டர் பாட்டில் இஸ் இயர் இஃப் ஐ டேக் திஸ் வாட்டர் பாட்டில் இஃப் ஐ ஷோ லைக் திஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் யூ டு ரன் அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ரூம் இஸ் இட் பாசிபிள் ஃபார் மீ டு டூ எஸ் பாசிபிள் சைக்காலஜியில் கிளாசிக்கல் கண்டிஷனிங் கண்டிஷனிங் கிளாசிக்கல் கண்டிஷனிங் ஸோ டெர்ம் டெர்மினாலஜி இட் இஸ் சம்திங் செல்ஃப் எக்ஸ்பிளனேட்டரி தான் ஓகே டெர்மினாலஜியில் இஷ்யூ இருக்காது ஸ்டடிஸ் கேஸ் ஸ்டடிஸ் இருக்கும் கேஸ் ஸ்டடிஸில் உங்களுக்கு மறக்கிற அளவுக்கு கேஸ் ஸ்டடிலாம் இருக்காது ஐ வில் டெல் எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்ட்னா எப்படின்றது ஜஸ்ட் ஐ வில் டெல் யூ இப்போ நவ் லெட் மி டேக் ஐ வில் ஜஸ்ட் கிவ் ஒன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபர்கட்டிங் சி யூ ஸ்டடி சம்திங் சம்டைம் யூ ஃபர்கட் வாட் இஸ் த ரீசன் ஃபார் த ஃபர்கட்டிங் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் ஒப்பீனியன் ஆன் ஃபர்கட்டிங் ஆ தெர் இஸ் தெர் ஆர் டூ டூ திங் மேபி ஆஃப்டர் தேட் யூ ஸ்டடி சம் அதர் திங் ஓகே ஆர் யூ ஸ்டடி அண்ட் தெர் மேபி டைம் டிலே ஒரு சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் முன்னாடி படிச்சிருக்கீங்க ஐம் ரைட் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் முன்னாடி படிச்சிருக்கீங்க யூ ஸ்டடிட் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் பிஃபோர் வெதர் கேன் யூ ரிமெம்பர் நவ் நோ ஸோ ஐ வில் சே டைம் டிலே கரெக்டா தெர் இஸ் அனதர் திங் ஆஃப்டர் தட் யூ ஸ்டடி சம் அதர் சப்ஜெக்ட் தட் கம்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர்வென்ஸ் யூ தட் இஸ் சம்திங் கால் இன்டர்ஃபரன்ஸ் இதுதான் டேர்மா இருக்கும் இன்டர்ஃபரன்ஸ்னா நவ் யூ ஸ்டடி எக்கானமி அண்ட் தென் டுமாரோ யூ ஸ்டடி சைக்காலஜி definitely after that your economy will come down your memory in economy will come down if now i want to know whether for forgetting time delay is a reason interference is a reason they have done one small experiment the experiment is they took two group of people group a group b okay so they gave some 50 words to memorize 50 words to memorize both the group they gave a sufficient time for them to memorize they memorized that word now group a they asked them to sleep for 1 hour 2 hour nu chukon chuma 2 hour we asked them to sleep group b for the 2 hours we gave them some other task seriya after after 2 hours we wake them asked them to come after 2 hours we asked them to come and then we asked them to recollect this 50 words both of them we asked them to recollect this 50 words can you tell me within this two group which group would have recollected the maximum words group a va group b a e da so unga logic la soltinga yes but in the study also they found that e da okay why a why why no why a or why not b um interference ipo now what they have proved is time delay is not a reason because 2 hours 2 hours rendu perukum time kuduthirukom am i right for both of them 2 hours time gap after 2 hours only we ask them to recollect it after 2 hours only ask them to recollect it but in the 2 hours the brain is free in the 2 hours they were doing task so they are not able to recollect they they recollected 40 words this students only recollected 30 words so based on that they desire based on that study they proved that time delay is not a reason for forgetting okay ipo ipdi dhaan irukku experiment na So, if you explain it, we have physics, chemistry, etc. This is the same thing for experiments. Group A, Group B. For one Group A, they will do one activity for one Group B. This is the chance to get the market. If you don't have any questions, after two months, you will have to get the market. So, our experiment, this is the one advantage we have. Our experiments or studies, whatever we have, generally it is not very easy to forget. That is not the case, there is no other studies in this chapter. Learning, memory, there is no other chapter. In the other chapter, there is no other chapter. In the other chapter, there is no other chapter. In the other chapter, okay so but it's easy to understand so then sir will it be very tough in interview since it's like see uh interview see the, you are you are thinking too much that and all is not basically they see first understand and the interview board la how many of them will be a psychology graduate how many of them know psychology romba kashtam okay generally fried maybe basic opinion they will ask and second thing you have to understand in the interview la the egg uh, interviewer board the board if they come to know that you do not know a answer they will not much get into it you know the board wants you to speak and they want to understand you okay if you don't if you if, 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 if suppose there is something called correspondence bias the, suppose the interviewer asking what is correspondence bias in psychology you say that sorry sir i do not know they will leave it that's all they will go to some other topic okay so it's not a way where you are thinking too much so it's not that level and all okay generally when you come from psychology they will get interested ena psychology vandu or cream layer mattum da psychology edupanga 
generally what we find is in urban and even in the rural one creamy layer mattum dhaan ena psychology subject ellarume eduthra matanga you will not adu adukunu or mind varum okay so that they only will choose the subject so basically they will be more interested when when you come with science sociology background anthropology na personally they will not be much interested but when you come from psychology nale adu konjo ena adu or it's a more practical oriented subject psychology nale takku or interest vandru so generally the intellectual people the interview boarders board people will get some interest they may ask one or two question we have to see that as an advantage ena we we should study properly and we have to take that as an advantage we should not see that as a disadvantage okay see how much time should be allotted for self study for psychology gs paper see it is a see it's about uh, see you attend the class you study for 2 hours to 3 hours at least 5 day 3 days to 5 days a week i will say that is sufficient okay if you are completely doing self preparation definitely you will take more time ning kandipa or 4 hours 5 hours point padikkanum because our ultimate objective for coming in the class na marbi solra the i am again telling you to reduce your time when i teach you what is introduction to psychology when i teach you what is learning what is memory then i am teaching the entire chapter when you go and read it will be very easy for you rather than you take from the scratch even though it is possible so that's what we are trying to only reduce your time okay see how to connect with psychology the current affairs and all as you think it's not much At, we should know only the current of any way for ga you are studying the gs you know what is the issues happening russia ukraine war palestine israel to that extent only we have to see we are not going to see depth we are not going to see from political we are not a political science optional we are not a other optional pub pub optional we have to know the issue that's all rest of that we can use our psychological concept we can apply that and all i will take care don't worry see the theory is to mug up along see mugging process any optional mugging process will not work you have to understand the subject see whatever we study we study about psychodynamism freudian theory we study about roger's theory you have to understand the concept see my my objective is to teach the concept make the under, make the concept understandable so that i give a short note of it so that you go when you read it you will understand it with understanding only you can write you cannot mug it please understand because this paper see you are going to you are going to write the gs1 gs gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 in four day two days okay five days gap will be there optional morning option one morning option two you cannot mug up and write it is not a school or college here there is no question of mugging up and all maybe factual some questions for factual some information you can mug rest of that you have to understand when you when you say achievement motivation you have to understand what is achievement motivation how the people with achievement motivation they are hard worker they are so points are hard worker persistent they always you know uh delay gratification they will not easily get tempted these are the points so inga mug up indra question question kedaya there is no question of mug upping it see introvert is difficult to make up in interview you come to the class you will understand in personality we will understand about introversion extroversion so there is no nothing called introverted or see we have a lot of misconception about introversion okay so we will detail about we will still still we will detail about introversion sir we will detail you see about what is introversion extroversion okay introverted can also be successful see many successful people are introverted now okay so it's not like that see uh if you see see there is a, what i will say is you should not have much confusion see you want to choose this optional or not whether you have a little interest that that is the one criteria i will say you to choose and see we are studying psychology if you are studying some other option now also okay but when you are studying psychology we are the one who talks about mental process thinking determination motivation either pesite thinking decision making that we study but if you now if you are not able to make a decision which option to choose then that itself is wrong i am right see it is a, you are getting a confusion whether to choose this option or this option na you are not able to make a decision decision making is very poor for you so other the meaning that is what it means okay so you have to take a decision decision law that shows your confidence personality ultimately your personality will make say some people come see okay fine decide go then don't think about anything come on do that see we have two types of people one type of people they don't bother about anything they will take one subject they will sit and study whether they like it or don't like they sit and study they clear they go to the service 
there are second uh, second uh, group of people who take the subject which find little interesting okay i want to know something about psychology something seems to be interesting okay let me know they come they take the subject they study they get through this are two type of people we have avladha they these people only can success in the exam epa you cannot take decision not tomorrow if you go become a collector how will you take decisions when you go as a bureaucrat ias officer ips officer how will you take decisions in the chinna vishayate if this is a very small thing choosing option is a very small thing am i right it's not a big factor this itself you have lot of confusion and other thing then in your life many decisions you will not be able to make it but anyway it does not matter i will give my mail id you have any doubts in the subject about see this uh, this particular uh, you know this particular demo is about to make you to understand the subject make it understand the subject what are the subject subject nature and normal subject marking pattern that is what my ultimate objective okay so you should not have any confusion decision making is a very important in our life we have to take a decision we have to take one stand we have to move forward that's all and the, once we take a, once we take a decision once we take a stand we should not go behind of it whatever may be let me do it that's all avladha and the see this exam this is one of the toughest exam in this world this is one of the toughest exam in india idukku nalla determination venum achievement motivation is very high you should have a high good achievement motivation you should be a hard worker for this exam you should be persistent in your hard work you should delay gratification okay so that is very important characteristics for this exam personality is very important for this in ultimate and the clear pandra varala personality than thirupa psychology than varum so ultimately personality is very important decision making is very important we have to take a decision okay we should not get much confusions and all don't bother about it you come we will you know we will take care any other doubts online students offline students it will be both in the online and offline but if you come to the online uh, if you come to the offline that will be better if not possible they have attend from the offline apart from the online sorry both will be same i don't do my education but when i ask doubt there is either online or offline illa illa both online and offline alla either la kedaiyad only both offline and online now it is both offline and online see now it is both online and offline no the same way it will be we have the flexibility okay so you put admission in the online sorry put your admission in the offline when you want attend in the online that you do it you take admission as a offline student and then what you do is if you want a, one or two days if you are not able to come you attend from the online that's not a issue that is what students do it okay so we have students like david dhania any other doubts shrinidhi rashmi kabilan jay bharati geeta so now any doubts you have any clarification eda clarification thava padda eda doubts clarification thava padda anything you have hmm okay fine so if you are interested you can make a you can just enroll in the admission office okay so that i will come to know how much it is okay after giving my attempt if i don't clear it can i again come here and take my option see why you want to do that see why you want to waste your time see okay you decide that's not a issue any time you can come every year batches two batches will be there you can join see for, basically you should have a in the exam ku vandha nalla confidence vanum okay i will clear under confidence vanum so illa vandu idella pannadinga see don't take a trial and error and all you come with the confidence see any time you can come it's not an issue okay every year two batches will be there you can come and join so what are the issue in that yeah test series will be part of this course only
Now, David, no, sir, don't have right now. If uh, see, I'm not able to understand. Can you again put the complete statement, David? My audio enable panel. Audio enable panel. Okay, David. Okay, so don't have any doubts right now. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, see, if you want to talk, Abdina, you can raise your hand. Hand raise, Manina, we will open the audio if you want to ask for any doubts or something. So, I think I hope I've given a, a complete brief of it. Are any other doubts in the online? No other doubts, Sarkar? Cherry. Okay. No other doubts, Sarkar? Fine. So, we will uh, wind up with this. We will see on the class. We will see in the class on November 11th. Okay. Fine. Ah, November 11th. Two weeks. You know, not only in the in the week, we will see Rainfall and Pedo, other one week in the Pedde, uh, Dibali holidays, a poet to Wood Petis Lepe Varad on the Varamuda and the Vararaka, Akana Arthurmacha. In an area leaves over the Nodula. So Alada just it is better to Yana Naria class Miss Punwanga, Ipana start Prana, Naria class Miss Punwanga, Celebre, Urupora Maram Pino. So Alada Kunjo, Padita, we are having any weekdays so we can manage it. Fine. Cherry. So we'll see in the class. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you very much.